your trip isn't too upsetting. Thank you, Arthur. Ensure you return to Camelot before dusk. Yes, sir. You look troubled, Gwen. I'm fine. <laughs> You're very secretive these days. I'm beginning to think there's a man involved. <laughs> when do I get to meet any decent men? Where's Guinevere? A servant is of no value to these bandits. I fear she's dead already. No! We cannot give up hope! Arthur? I'm begging you. You have to do something. My father's right. Fred, there's nothing we can do. How can you say that? How can you live with yourself? All of you! How can you be so heartless? Gwen is the most kind little person that you would ever meet, and she's been more than a friend to all of us. And you would leave her at the mercy of those animals. Have you no shame? Do you think of no one but yourself? Morgana. I knew you were many things, Arthur Pendragon, but I didn't know you were a gutless coward. Morgana. Perhaps if you would stop shouting at me for one second, you would notice that I am packing. You're going after Gwen. Of course I'm going after. What do you take me for? Couldn't disagree with Father in public. Arthur? Bring her home. What are you doing, Merlin? I must have fallen asleep. Oh. Oh, he's awesome. I can barely keep my eyes open. Thank you. I feel so much better. Guinevere's life is at stake. We cannot afford to waste a second. Oh, oh what's happening? Oh. How, how long was I asleep for? Long enough. Did you get some rest? Couldn't sleep. I've never seen you like this. About anyone. What are you talking about? Gwen. You really care about it, don't you? What I care about is not wasting any more time talking. Let's get moving. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have risked your life like that. Well, they do say love makes you do strange things. What are you talking about? Why can't you just admit your feelings for Gwen? <laughs> it's so obvious. A blind man can see it. Is it really that hard to admit you like her? Just say it. I can't. How can I admit that I think about her all the time? Or that I care about her more than anyone? How can I admit that I don't know what I'll do if any harm comes to her? Why can't you? Because nothing can ever happen between us. To admit my feelings, knowing that, hurts too much. Who's to say nothing can happen? My father won't let me rescue a servant. Do you honestly believe he'd let me marry one? You want to marry Gwen? No, no, I, I don't know. It's all talk, and that's all it can ever be. When you're king, you can change that. I can't expect Guinevere to wait for me. If she feels as you do, she'll wait for you. We don't even know if she's still alive. Yes, she is. We will find her. Come on, we've got a long trek ahead. Oh, and Merlin. If you dare tell anyone about this, I promise 
I will make your life a living hell. Any more than you already do? Yeah. We could talk about your feelings while you walk. Shut up, Merlin. <laughs> surprised you would undertake such a rescue mission with just the two of you. Father would not risk the lives of his knights or servant. And yet you disobeyed him and came here anyway. The truth is, I only came because Morgana begged me. I'll get some rest. For sure, we'll get some rest. Is it true that Arthur came to rescue Gwen because Morgana begged him? He has feelings for her, doesn't he? What about you? Do you have feelings for Gwen? My feelings do not matter. I will not come between them. He said that some things can't be. He wanted you to know that you've changed them forever. See you. supposed to cheer me up. I thought it might. You really are a complete idiot, aren't you, Merlin? 